I call what I said this morning Christian hedonism. <coughs> Christian hedonism. Some people pronounce it hedonism. Now I know that the word hedonism has a very negative connotation for most people, which it probably should, because it refers to things like worldliness, sensuality, selfishness, egotism. And I don't mean any of those things when I use the word. When I put um, Christian on the front of it, I want it to be transformed. So years and years ago, when I was considering, do I want to call this message Christian hedonism, I, I looked up the word hedonism in my high school dictionary, basic dictionary. And the first definition was a life devoted to pleasure. And I thought, that's exactly what I mean. A life devoted to the pursuit of pleasure. That's what I was talking about this morning. But of course the world means pleasure in money, pleasure in success, pleasure in power. And when I put the word Christian on the front of it, I mean pleasure in God according to Psalm 1611, in your presence is fullness of joy, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. That's what I mean by it. Philippians chapter 2, verses 15, where we are to shine like lights in the world, be blameless children of God, in, in a crooked and perverse generation. And I thought, the only way I know to kill sin in my life is to kill it with the power of a superior pleasure. That's my understanding of sanctification. It won't do any good just to say to people, stop sinning. That won't work. The reason I sin, the reason you sin, is because it feels good to sin. Nobody sins out of duty. Nobody gets up in the morning and says, it is my obligation to sin today. Nobody does that. The reason we sin is because it's pleasurable. It feels good. It, my life will be happier if I sin. How are, you going to, how are you going to conquer that? Tell people happiness doesn't matter? <laughs> of course it matters. It's all over the Bible. And I believe the key is to be so miraculously transformed by God into the kind of people who find more pleasure in God than we do in sin that we get victory over the sin in our lives. <clears throat> 